Um, I hope everybody's doing all right. I would just like to say thank you for voting me as your class president. Um, it's honestly an honor to just be a part of the whole community and Mel Peters and Cal Hills, the, you know, mainly just because, I mean, I don't know for you guys, but I can speak for myself that Cal Hills has really, um, it's really just changed me and, and how I look at school and, and life. And honestly, for the past three years now, they've, they've built me to where I'm at now. And, you know, I'd like to pass that on and help the students. So, um, honestly, I'm gonna just be really involved in this school and the community and really just focus on bettering, you know, programs and, um, you know, education for the students and making it easier on the teachers, you know, giving them input from our perspectives and, you know, things like that. But, um, yeah, thank you for this opportunity. I appreciate it a lot. And we're gonna have a lot of fun this year for sure. You know, there ain't no other president like Anthony Velasquez for shows. Hey guys, the food drive is back from now to December uh, 18th, which will be the end of the quarter. And packaged and canned foods will be accepted. Uh, please make sure it's in a box and left outside of Cal Hills' office where it'll be picked up and given to the donation area. And money donations can be given through uh, the link below. Please make sure to change the names to Cal Hill so we can get credit for it. Also, if you would like to get credit for it, please send a picture to Miss Mendoza and $1 will equal to two cans. Um, our primary goal for this year will be 400 cans and the prize for that will be one productive period for each of your classes. So if you have six classes, you get six productive periods. And our super uh, goal for this year or yes, our super goal for this year is 750 cans, where the staff and ASB will be pied in the face, so yeah. The Senior Accelerated Programs, also known as SAP, are coming back quarter three. We have SAP English and SAP Math. Both classes are double credit classes and worth six credits total. If you are interested in SAP classes, please contact your advisors about your credit needs and they will send you an application that needs to be turned in by December 1st at 2 p.m. We also have progress reports coming out from your advisors. Each progress report needs to be filled out with each teacher on Thursday, November 19th and Friday, November 20th. Your filled out progress reports need to be turned back into your advisors on that Friday, November 20th. Hi, Cal Hills. It's Miss Mendoza here. I wanted to go over next week's schedule because it's a little bit different. So on Monday, 1123, you're going to go to your advisory class at 10 a.m. for a digital lesson. And then for each of your other classes, you're going to complete activities or check-ins in the Google Classroom. So make sure you look at your classroom every day. And then on Tuesday, 1124, you're going to go to your advisory class again uh, at 10 a.m. and you're going to attend a virtual field trip with your advisory and so I hope you have fun with that and when you're done with your virtual field trip you're going to fill out an exit ticket and then again also you want to complete your activities or check-ins in your Google Classroom for all of your other classes. Those check-ins are going to be really important because that is how we're going to take your attendance and how you're going to earn your productive periods so make sure you are doing those check-ins in all of your other classes. Now for those advisory at class activities if you you are present and actively participating in both of those advisory activities on Monday the 23rd and Tuesday the 24th, you're going to earn an extra half credit of elective. So take advantage of this and then after that you're going to have your Thanksgiving break. So enjoy! And one more thing, check out this cool information about ACE Mentor Program. Yo, it's your boy Jarrell, and there's a Lions Club meeting on the 7th of December, which is a Monday. Go there for community service during lunch, and if you have any other questions, ask Ms. Bentz or Dr. Schmidt. Peace. So, I don't know if you guys know this or but we're going to start doing shout-out videos. So, basically, how it's going to go is you're going to record yourself every week when we have video announcements. Um, we're going to post a couple. We'll probably be able to post, like, up to, like, 10 around there, you know what I'm saying? But, um... Yeah, basically for, you know, the first shout out, you know, to get things rolling and everything, I'd like to shout out all the teachers and staff. You know, I'd really just like to show my appreciation to you guys because you guys have been able to, you know, 
since this pandemic hit right away, you know, hit us with the, the new education plans and you guys been able to accommodate to us, you know, some of you coming to our houses, um, giving us um, additional work that that we see, to, um, you know, finding on our own. Um, so just, you know, with the whole teachers looking out for student things, that's exactly what, what Cal Hills did. Um, you guys were just able to perform really well under a lot of stress and you know it really just shows how much you guys care about your students compared to a lot of other schools or you know just the time that we get with you guys is just so um, dedicated unlike a lot of other schools that I've experienced and I know that other people have experienced so thank you it really means a lot. Hey Mustangs I wanted to give a shout out to Miss Esmeralda for being awesome and staying up on top of all of her assignments and really persisting and being very determined through this whole COVID thing and distance learning. I know it's hard and challenging, but I'm so proud of her and I can't wait to see her in person whenever. Hi everyone, Miss Mendoza here. So I wanna take a moment and do some shout outs. So the first person is Sabrina. Um, thank you for always just bringing a positive vibe to the class, for always stepping up whenever, you know, I'm looking for someone to uh, participate. I always know that you'll be ready for that. And so I really appreciate that. Thank you. And the other person is Nessa. Um, thank you for everything you do to help us in leadership. You come with such great ideas. And I love that you, I can always count on you. If I just need to message you and I'm like, I need some help, you'll always be there. So thank you so much. One more thing, shout out to Lyle Rosales. He's been doing great. Hi everyone, I am Miss Mitchell. I am one of our social studies teachers here at Cal Hills. I teach US history and world history this year, but I've taught a whole bunch of other things too. Um, I am excited to teach at Cal Hills for many, many reasons, but truth be told, I think I'm most excited because I realized that going to a big school with a ton of other people can be really overwhelming. And I love just being at a small school. I love having smaller classes. I love getting to know you guys and all of my students a little bit better than I would at a bigger school. And I super value that. And it's what's kept me here for a long time. So that's fun. Um, and why I wanted to work with students, um, in all honesty, when I decided I wanted to be a teacher, it wasn't even because I wanted to work with students. I knew I wanted to help people. Um, but when I was in high school, as much as I didn't like high school, I really liked the teachers that I had. And I thought having a career where they could be my colleagues was going to be really rewarding. And through college, I realized that that was a terrible reason to become a teacher, but I also at the same time found a passion for wanting to help students who oftentimes didn't get the attention that they deserved, um, which is another reason that brought me here to Cal Hills. So I got lucky for that reason. And a fun fact about me, um, I don't know if it's a fact, but it's a current obsession and my earrings say it all. Um, I've told many, many students so far that my plan is to retire and become a beekeeper. And I'm well on my way to becoming a crazy bee lady. So it's not just crazy cat ladies anymore. It's gonna be crazy bee ladies. So excited. <laughs>